Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters, most distinguished guests, when we talk about fruits in nature, but we're looking about the time difference, it's just like tomato and potatoes. Why do I say so? It's because if you actually watch a TV show or, or online YouTube video called The Annoying Orange, you may understand where I'm coming from. There is a tomato there. There is also a potato there. But they're always having arguments. Because there are always conflicts, just like right now in Hong Kong. When I say chaotic, there's no politics, right? There are different sides of story, but which one is the true news? Hmm, I was thinking about that. And it really comes into my, the real big content whereby I have to create this speech, the urgency. Why? Because there are lots of fake news every day. Mm -hmm. How many of you watch, watch your news on Channel News Asia or Channel 8 right now? Please raise your hand. At least I remember the TV shows. <laughs> but when we watch them, how true are those news? This is a question. We have to know which TV station are there and also whether they are neutral on that. Because the reporters are really getting the intention of every single one in the whole country because of their newsletter that they're writing. But when we trace about their resources and stuff, we always wonder where the sources are from and whether they are true or not. And that posed me a very big question because recently in Hong Kong, I saw two videos. One is that a guy was sprinkled with a flammable liquid and then he was burned. That is the true news. And I saw another news related to a metro station whereby he was doing the same thing, splashed with flammable liquid and burned as well. But that is fake news because that was taken one year ago. But people do have the tendency to spread fake news, even if their intentions are good. Why? Imagine that you are actually having a mobile phone right now, and then you saw someone sharing a video say, please protect your family and friends, and then share that picture where people are burned. How would you react? The first instinct that comes to my mind is to protect your loved ones. Share with your family, no matter whether it's right, true, or not. That is whereby the main cause of fake news where it comes every single day. Just like a tomato, you are unable to identify whether it's a true tomato or potato unless you try to bite one. And bite one, you either have juice or no juice. That's the question. Tomato has fresh juice. Tomato, you actually, if you eat the wrong potato and they are kind of expired, you get poisoned. And you do not want to try that too well unless you really know your stuff. So when we have break this down into three different sections for the speech itself, I was wondering, mm, is it important for people to know about fake news? Nah, that's not the really main problem of the question. The theme is called tomato and potato. It's because we always have quarrels and misunderstandings everywhere. The fake news are on the basis of misunderstandings too. But misunderstanding doesn't mean that you are with a good intention or a bad intention. Because we all stand our ground. We all have our own beliefs, just like where we are up from. We have different upbringings, cultures, different philosophy. But then we always want the best thing to happen. No matter whether it's selfish or not, at least it's a good intention. Why would I say so? Mm, if I want to eat potato right now, McDonald's is the right place to go because it's for supper. And as I'm walking there, I remember when I ate McDonald's, the Mac burger, there's always the, um, you know, the tomato slice. And when we always have this decision making and thinking about what is best for us, technically, if nutrition value, yes, tomato, but potato always has something in common that is starch and it keeps us full. Yeah, I'm already lost of words. But the thing, <laughs> but the thing is, when we think about all this different items, differences, it's sometimes whether we are actually thinking from the good side or the bad side. When I say bad side, it means that we try to intoxicate ourselves into what we think is right for us. So when we have the fake news, brought it to the next category of whether they're always having corals, whether it's a good intention or not, we have to understand that whether we become open-minded. That is the main purpose of this whole speech. Because we have tend to think about what we think is right. And when you have a day that you always think that you're right, 
that it's always a possibility that you're wrong. It's just that you're not open to opinions and thoughts. So next time when you see a tomato and a potato, don't think about the arguments that happens in place. Think about if there is a possibility of combining them together to come up with a nice recipe. Maybe that will be the best solution for all of us. So that's the end of my speech. I'll pass the stage back to you. <laughs> uh, this is a sh A fabulous evening once again to club president, distinguished guests, and Toastmasters. Thank especially to Aaron here. Well, I would like to uh, evaluate Aaron on two areas. One area is what I can learn from him, and the other area is what we can all learn together. Okay, what we can learn from him is that Aaron, as usual, is always the engaging speaker. And he has this fabulous facial expressions combined with his hand gestures to engage the audience. I find that he's always speaking with the audience and I'm always listening to his speech because of this good combination of hand and facial gestures. The other thing that he did well was he introduced questions. And questions is a very good way of engaging the audience. Now, what is the other thing that all of us can learn together is that the potato and tomato thing has is too complicated. <laughs> so I think Aaron has too many ideas and I got lost uh, in the speech. But if he were to point out a few main top uh, points, I would be able to follow the speech better. But nevertheless, I always like to listen to his vocal variety there. It's very engaging and his excellent facial and hand gestures and the way he creates animated dialogues that keep us listening. So once again, good work on it. Wonder Woman is here. Hope you can bring out better structure in your next speech. Oh, back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Okay, thank you. Okay.